<laughs> Let's talk Stop. about celebrating Halloween traditions. You just don't want the angry emails. I don't care. <laughs> Halloween traditions. Mm, yeah. You have to dig into this. This is so interesting. This is fun. Yeah. Yes, I love it. Scary pumpkins, costumes, right. candy. How did this all get started? These, you think about it, it's, it's kind of weird. These answers are so hard to find, right? Yes. Because a lot of this is, it's like, it becomes a story that grandpa passed down to grandma and then exactly. somebody wrote down on a scroll and then right. uh, we try to make sense of it, right? Uh -huh. Yes. And so what we did was we went to the author. She's over at Harvard. She wrote five books on Halloween. So I thought, okay. That's pretty she's, good. She's, this is, this is, we're going to get the real as deal. As legit with this as one. it's going to exactly. be, right? <laughs> right. Because Halloween, I mean, it goes back to 2,000 years. It was sort of this winter festival celebrating winter, but it was also you know, dark and cold, and that's when the spirits uh, would be coming out. So we can start with pumpkins. Here. That's one of your favorites, right, Riley? Uh, yes. Because you guys grew pumpkins this year. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I've always loved pumpkins. Ever yeah. since. I don't know. They're just fascinating to me. Yeah. I mean, I've loved them ever since I was a kid. My kids love them. Um, and they have, I have Halloween books or like little ABC books that are evolved around Halloween. And in the middle of summer, I mean, they're like, let's pull out, you know, pumpkin, pumpkin. They want to see them and stuff yeah. like that. So there's something about pumpkins that run in my family. Yeah. I think that we all yeah. love them. And they're easy to carve. So yeah. it used to be like in Europe, they would carve like turnips and beets. And you could mm -hmm. imagine, like, that's really hard to carve. Here, we just have so many pumpkins. Uh -huh. so they're easy to carve. True. So what was happening, like early Halloween in the United States was a lot of like, tricks so pranking vandalism uh, and these pumpkins were used to go around and scare people well eventually what happened was it, it just kind of got to be too much and the schools and the town leaders and the neighborhoods just said look we need something else we need to move halloween from these tricks these pranks this vandalism to this idea of trick-or-treating and uh -huh. that's actually how trick-or-treating came about and that's also when pumpkins stopped being used so much to scare people uh -huh. and then became kind of used as decorations now all right what's the yeah. story with, what's the story with the candy candy uniquely made up by us yeah, not that's a shock very American money, 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 not money one shock so when we moved to this idea of trick-or-treating Candy makers say, like, ah, this this can be us here because back in the fifties, kids were just getting like nuts and coins, and candy makers said, nope, that's, that's this not, is that's our not turn. Fun. That's not fun to get those. No, it's not. Somebody it's passes not. out a five dollar bill. It's like yes, five dollar bill is different from a penny. Yeah. True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when you were a kid, was a what penny. was what was the thing you would get at a door that would make you furious? Me? Yeah. Oh man, I'm trying to think of that. I remember erasers getting like pencil erasers. Yeah, I would so get upsetting. A little, a little school like things or whatever, or a little toothbrush. Rubber, uh, Anybody ever a get a rubber, toothbrush? Kind of like a toothbrush, spiders. Yeah. Oh yes, toothbrush. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Don't That's be that not fun. Don't be that parent. It's not fun. Mm -hmm. Don't do it. What was cool too was this during this time. This is when bite-sized candy was actually invented. Which I didn't realize that. The yeah. worst. Not yeah. fun. Well, you you're the full size candy bar. Fun size is router. just not that funny. Well, that's the thing, right? So I you should do this for a good question, Heather. Mm -hmm. Break down the difference between like fun size, mini, <laughs> snack size. Yes. <laughs> Regular size. Let's include King that size. In our, Let's include How that many on sizes the are there now? There's a lot of sizes, but here's the problem. If you eat like 16 snack sizes, it's, it's not helping anybody. <laughs> it's no. not, and that's the problem. The bite size <laughs> Snickers, man, I'm done. Like, so I have much, the whole bag down. So much had, wrapping. You're like, this, this right? It oh is. Oh, my gosh. It is, but you know, All right. how can you eat just like one little one? You can't. It's it's virtually impossible. That should be a talker. That should be a question. Can you eat just one? Put <laughs> put it to the test.